From 2020 until 2022, Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa were the top two women in AEW and engaged in a series of matches and in a blood feud. In the match between the two, we would see some of the bloodiest, craziest and most hardcore action and all while this feud was going on on screen, the two were also involved in a bitter backstage feud off screen, one that still has its effects on AEW to this day. Today, we're going to be discussing why Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa that hate each other. Make sure to subscribe to the channel right now and let's talk about how these two's bitter backstage feud came to be. Britt Baker was the first woman signed to AEW other than Brandi Rhodes before AEW had even ran their first show in 2019. Britt had wrestled at the All In pay-per-view in 2018 and she would make her debut for AEW on AEW's first ever show, Double or Nothing 2019, where she defeated Kylie Ray, Nyla Rose and Awesome Kong in a four-way match. Britt Baker would begin on AEW TV as a babyface but while it started off well, she would very quickly begin to get stale in her babyface role and at the beginning of 2020, she would turn heel and Britt Baker as a heel would very quickly catch on in AEW. And going into the pandemic era of AEW, Britt Baker would be a regular on AEW Dynamite and she would cut a promo nearly every single week. In May of 2020, she would suffer an injury leaving her out of action for a couple of months, but once again, it didn't stop her from appearing on AEW Dynamite every week, often cutting a promo and being involved in storylines. She had became the top heel woman in the company leading up to her return at All Out 2020, and she hadn't even wrestled. And her return into in-ring competition at All Out 2020 was of course against Big Swole in a tooth and nails match, which the less said about that match, the better. However, with Britt Baker facing Swole at All Out, that left women's champion Hikaru Shida without a top opponent to face. And that is where Thunder Rosa would come in. Thunder Rosa up until this point had been working for the NWA because yes, people like her, LA Knight, Eddie Kingston and Ricky Starks used to work there. Not, you know, Tyrus, like it is now. Thunder Rosa was a star in the NWA and she had just won their women's championship a little bit before the pandemic had hit. NWA would go off air during the pandemic and as a result, people like Eddie Kingston, Ricky Starks and of course, Thunder Rosa was snapped up by AEW with AEW bringing in Thunder Rosa to challenge Hikaru Shida for the AEW women's title at All Out that year. Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa would both be unsuccessful in their matches at All Out and their next natural destination was to face each other. Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa first faced each other at AEW Dynamite Beach Break in November 2020 in a decent match that Britt won after some heel tactics. The two would continue their feud and then face again in February 2020 won in the main event of AEW Dynamite in an unsanctioned match. And in a match that involved barbed wire, thumbtacks, blood, tables, weapons, and what was my match of the year, Thunder Rosa came out on top. Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa had had a brilliant feud and the next natural destination was now for one of them to win the title and for them to meet again, this time for the title and it was from here that Britt Baker, in her own words, would farm dark. She would pick up six wins between the match with Thunder Rosa and Double or Nothing that year, letting her challenge Hikaru Shida for the title and it was in this match that she would win the title, becoming the brand new AEW Women's World Champion. Britt Baker would successfully defend the title against Nyla Rose, Red Velvet, Chris Statlander, Ruby Soho, Ty Conti and Riho before she began feuding with her old foe, Thunder Rosa, once again. The two would face at Revolution 2022 with Baker winning and retaining the title with help from her friends, much to the confusion of many. But then a month later, Thunder Rosa beat Britt Baker in a steel cage match from Dynamite in San Antonio where she got a massive reaction because that's where she's based and it was the right call in the end. And Thunder Rosa was your new champ. Thunder Rosa's reign though was unfortunately less than stellar though. She had some decent matches though. She beat Nyla Rose 
to retain the belt at Battle of the Belts, and then Serena Deeb at Double or Nothing 2022, but she was hardly ever on TV, and that was the main issue. And then came her match with Marina Shafir. They wrestled on the 8th of June 2022 Dynamite, and during this match, Thunder Rosa was seen visibly sandbagging. Something that fans and wrestlers, including Britt Baker, would notice. And this was where tensions between Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa were first really put publicly, when Britt liked to tweet criticizing Thunder Rosa's sandbagging. Thunder Rosa and Marina Shafir would make amends, but that didn't stop Britt from taking this photo, and reports of backstage stage heat around Thunder Rosa were surfacing. Following her vacating the title and stepping away from AEW TV, it was reported that Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa reportedly couldn't stand each other and there was heat on Thunder Rosa from other women in the AEW women's locker room. AEW documentary series AEW All Access gave some more insight into where this dislike between the two came from, with Britt Baker stating in a conversation along with Soraya, Tony Storm and Jamie Hayter that she wasn't happy with how Thunder Rosa carried herself as champion and believes she should be stripped of the belt. It seemed as though this feud between Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa had had a big backstage effect and it led to the February 8, 2023 Dynamite where according to Fightful Select, Thunder Rosa issued an apology to the women's locker room and this was seemingly confirmed by Rosa who mentioned this in an interview with Busted Open. She said the following, I have talked to the locker room, I took accountability for the things that some people had issues with me and I went out there and apologised. That's the best thing I can do. I want to make money, I I want to make sure I can work with everyone, regardless if we have any issues or not. And following the airing of AEW All Access and all of this, things would go quiet and there was no real stuff regarding Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker, mainly due to the fact that Thunder Rosa is still injured and isn't on TV so there was nothing to be taking place and nothing to report on, or so it seemed. That was until independent wrestler Lufisto would release a statement on Twitter detailing her backstage experience she had working a date for AEW in spring of this year and in this thread she wrote this part in particular which adds to the confusion even more. Had a one hour phone call with a current AEW talent. The women who actually addressed the problems I did today were the ones sent home by Tony Khan. There was a meeting to shoot on Thunder Rosa that Khan attended. Before leaving, he reminded them that their segments were the lowest. When some girls arranged a meeting to talk about Baker's crew, one of them ran to Brit to let her know. The girls that wanted to address the problem were the ones punished. And this just even further muddied the waters and made it for even more confusion regarding the situation. But the AEW roster were very quick to respond and Britt Baker herself responded by stating that the meeting being referenced was a meeting put together by Thunder Rosa herself to clear their air. This could possibly be the meeting that was reported back on in February or an entirely different one that was never made public but regardless it's all still very very confusing and nothing is very clear but regardless as of right now Thunder Rosa is still injured and off TV and Britt Baker is set to wrestle at All In at Wembley. Whether these two meet in the ring again remains to be seen, but with Thunder Rosa appearing on the debut episode of Collision and Britt Baker being a Dynamite regular, it may be a sign that that might be quite unlikely. And speaking of signs, come see the top 10 wrestling sign in WrestleQuest. WrestleQuest just dropped on all consoles. It's an RPG wrestling game. It's awesome. And they were nice enough to put a top 10 wrestling sign in the game. And uh, I still haven't found it. Like WrestleQuest, do you want to give me a clue where it is? I'm, I'm kind of on a quest to find this sign in the game and so far I've played the game for three hours. I've completed many a quest and I've made a name for myself in the Boxwood wrestling scene but my main goal is finding that damn sign and I still haven't. I'm going to keep you guys updated on my journey in the next couple of videos because I feel like this might take me a while and if you want to find my sign before I do and beat me to it then check out the link below to get WrestleQuest for yourself. It's on Steam, it's on all consoles and honestly I am addicted to it. But that's it from me and I'll see you guys all in the next video.